Hello everyone, welcome to the Network Security Algorithm series. Today we'll be doing the Algorithm Message Digest 5. So, which is also called as MD5. The main aim of this particular algorithm is to preserve the integrity of the message. What does this mean that if we are sending any message, so it might happen that any attacker may change the message, may change the content of the message or may add something or may remove something from the message so if an attacker does that then the receiver must know that there is some change in the message and the receiver can discard the message so this can be done by using this MD5 so we'll see how it works so this is integrity means what uh, the, the if, if, if there is any change in the message then the receiver must know that there has been a change in the message so this is uh, the block diagram of the MD5 algorithm. There are many other algorithms which are used to preserve the integrity. So this is this may be the original message. The original message it can be of any number of bits. It may be hundred thousand or maybe ten thousand bits long. So this original message can be any by any bits long. It is passed through the MD5 algorithm and we get a message digest and message digest created by md5 irrespective of the original messages of 128 bits so the message digest created is always 128 bit whatever be the size of the message or whatever the size of the original message so let us see uh, with an example how this particular md uh, any any of the message digest works so now we have two entities alice and bob so this suppose this is the original message suppose uh, let just this blue part this is the message so what does Alice do Alice uses a uh, MD5 algorithm this is the MD5 algorithm block okay and she generates the message digest let, let me name this MD so this is the message digest now next what she does she appends this message digest with the message after calculating the message digest and this is the uh, the thing which will be sent to Bob so at the receiving end Bob receives two things one is the original message and the message digest so Bob recovers the message and separates the message digest and he himself calculates the message digest by the same algorithm which uh, Alice is using and he calculates his own message digest let us say that this is suppose MD1 whatever call this suppose this is MD1 so the message digest which was sent by Alice was MD1 and now suppose if uh, Bob calculates the message digest and if he gets MD2 so if MD2 equal to MD1 then there is no change in the message so the idea here is that for any two separate message suppose if we have message 1 and message 2 and if we calculate the message digest of an M1 we get a message digest MD1 ok and for MD2 we get a separate message digest uh, suppose MD2 so if that if there are two different messages then their message digest will be totally different okay so if the message is not changed so no two message will have the same message digest that is the idea behind this message digest that no two different messages will have the same message digest so here if there is no change in the message digest then whatever this md calculated message digest calculated by bob would be same as was the Alice if there is any change even if a, an, an, a single alphabet is changed by any attacker and now if Bob calculates the message digest suppose if it is MD2 then in this case MD2 will not be equal to MD1 and he will conclude that the message has been changed so this is how it goes now regarding the steps involved in message digest algorithm the first step is appending padded bits then appending length then initializing the MD buffer <coughs> and then doing some functions so that the final uh, output is of 128 bits these are the steps now let us uh, get an idea about how it works uh, the original message suppose let us take an example suppose the original message is suppose of 560 bits okay now what will the sender do uh, the sender uh, for, for message digest algorithm we need to create whatever message we have we need to create a block okay and each block would be of 512 bits okay so whatever the original message is it must be divided into blocks of 512 bits 
so uh, in such a way that suppose if we have uh, the message quite long let us take this one example uh, then we understand so suppose our original message is of 560 bits now out of this 560 512 message will come in this the, the first block and the remaining 48 they will occupy the other block now here we have some space which is left out of which this 64 bit okay, the last 64 bits they are used to carry the uh, length of this original message they will convey the message what is the length of the original message and now remaining if we calculate this this uh, this this block is also 512 bits and now we have four bi 400 bits are empty now now this 400 bits they won't be th this places they won't be empty we have to padding we have to do padding okay this this adding extra bits to make this entire as 512 this is called as padding so padding is done so this is 400 bits are extra bits are padded okay so this if the message goes uh, if uh, such a large that it goes into three blocks then same is true for the third block also that in the last block the, the last 64 bits they are reserved for carrying the length of the original message and the remaining the if this is the message part then this are the padding so this is how it works now uh, let us see how we write the python code for uh, the md5 algorithm and this will be explained by professor yasira okay students today we are going to see md5 hash in python so basically, uh, you know, cryptographic hashes are used in day-to-day -day life like in digital signatures, message authentication codes, manipulation detection, fingerprints, hash table, basically for integrity check. And you know, they are also used in uh, sending messages over network for security or for storing messages. So students, there are many hash functions which are defined in the hash library in Python. So as you can see, for md5 hash we are going to use a very important uh, module that is the hash library now see this md5 hash function basically accepts sequence of byte and it will return us the hash value which is actually used to check data integrity but you know it has security issues so over here in our particular program students we are first going to import the module hash light hash lib okay so this is the main uh, library which is used for this particular program after that can you see uh, i have used two variables one is the result and the other one is the result one now the very first uh, in the result one what we are going to do is we are going to encode the string i smile using md5 so as you can see over here hash lib dot md5 and we are encoding the string i smile in the next variable that is result one we are going to encode the string e smile we have done a minor change in this particular string now see at the end the above code it will take the byte and it can be you know accepted by the hash function the md5 hash function will encode it and then with the important of method that is the digest it will generate the equivalent encoded string and at the end it will print us the result so i am just going to run this particular code can you see over here for the uh, string i smile it is generating me this particular encoded string and the same uh, string i have just changed the alphabet e so it is producing me the result different so this is basically the uh, python code for md5 thank you Thank you.